people are going to shoot a higher percentage because of the way we're we're playing. Um, Dave, here's here, here's the problem, and and I mean I, I've said this from the beginning, and and I've told them from the very beginning. We have to turn people over, but we can't turn it over. I think turnovers are 19 to 16. When we win, they're 19 like to 8, maybe 7, or 22 to 8. That's 14 more shots we're going to get. We were out rebounding our opposition. We got out rebounded by 8. If we out rebound them by 8, that's eight more shots we get. So now you're talking 18, 20 more shots, which is what we were getting. We were getting 18, 20 more shots than what our opposition was. They're going to shoot a higher percentage because of the way we play. You try to offset that by, by creating turnovers and creating easy baskets off turnovers. Bob, then that said, what, why did you guys turn the ball over more? Just trying to do too much with it? I think it's a, I think it's 11, maybe it's either 11 or 13 of our turnovers are from our bigs. I don't know, I mean, I, we don't, we don't work on dribbling in the post. If we're going to dribble, we back it out to where we face an attack. We don't ever say catch it and dribble it, put your head down and dribble it. I wouldn't tell a fifth grade team that. But we did. And so consequently, they, I mean, we, we have a, uh, there's a huge disparity. And, and it's been happening all year, really. I mean, it's, we just probably haven't thrown it to them as much. Any way you could essentially find out more about what you've got now than as opposed to when you have a great start at the beginning of the year? I don't understand. Just you know, uh, react to adversity and, and, and as opposed to one great, you know, what you what you got now. Oh, we're gonna be all right. We're gonna be all right. I mean, the most positive guys in the locker room, really, though, are the freshmen. Honestly, I mean they. Um, we've been trying to we've been trying to fix the turnover deal because it's I mean it's it's the reason we've lost games. We've been trying to fix that. And, and Justin, think about the you know the really good teams, the Sweet Sixteen team, the Final Four. They didn't turn the ball over. We got we got more shots, and and we rebounded it. And we started out doing those things, and now we've now we've gotten away from them. Competition has stopped. That doesn't mean you still put your head down and dribble whenever you you're, you're work and work and work on not doing it. We had, I mean, you saw it. I mean, probably sitting where you saw it, you saw it better than I saw it. We had, no one liked there weren't guys open. We didn't get them the ball. Thought we thought our bigs had finished better than what they're finishing. They haven't finished. We were, I think Tony said, seven for 18 shots from a foot away. Seven for 18. That's not very good. When, when there were those deflections, they were getting when you guys were trying to get it inside that probably was a, another frustrating aspect. We worked on two days. I mean, we knew where they were going to be. It wasn't like no, that was a shock. We knew where they were going to be. You throw it from a foot, you figure you score fifty percent of the time, right? I mean, we, uh, that wasn't that wasn't our numbers. 
That Baylor run in the first half obviously defined the game, kind of set the tone early. Did you see a mentality change out of your guys, and how hard is it when, when something like that happens as early as it does? I guess it depends on who you are. Um, I firmly believe, and 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 I thought our guys were were buying in more and more and more. It's a cumulative effect, so people aren't going to make shots at the end that they make early. They're going to make some shots early. Maybe not that many, but they're going to make some. A cumulative effect is you wear them down. Our five aren't better than, uh, they're not better than a lot of people's, but our 10 are when we're, when we're playing. I just don't think we have the same kind of effort. I don't think we have the same kind of resolve. We haven't chased guys down from behind here of late, which we were doing a bunch early. Um, we haven't ran through passing lanes the way we were early. I just don't think we're, I don't know. I, I don't know what it is. I mean, I saw it coming. That's the frustrating thing. It's like your kid. You got kids? So you want you don't want your kids to make the same mistakes you made, right? That's how all parents are. Harder than hell to stop them, though. It's really hard to stop them. It's the same thing. I mean, I've, I've coached enough teams. I mean, I can see it coming, but I, I'm not smart enough, I guess, to know how to stop it. Uh, you tell them, you tell them, and you tell them, and you tell them, and you tell them, but hasn't done any good. In any way, does a game like this, does a result like this reinforce that? Can you point to this now and say, look. No, how dumb you got to be? We just lost by 21 before this. How dumb you got to be? I hope they're not that dumb. I hope. And they're good now. Baylor's talented now. They're talented. Their their two guards are, are are very good. They got a bunch of guys who can make shots, and they've got the best rebounder in the country. They're talented. It's not like it's not like we lost to. I can't say anybody because then I'll end up people say, "Why would you use us?" Yeah, you, I'm glad you said that. I didn't say that. <laughs> Of problems with passing into the post and getting position post plan general. Do you see anything, any signs of improvement? Because it seems like those problems were across the board again today. No, I don't. But, you know, I mean, God. When you throw the ball off a guy's ankles repeatedly, wouldn't it dawn on you maybe I'll throw the ball to somebody a little higher where they can catch it? I mean, it's hard. It's hard to shoot. I mean, it's like it's hard to shoot a ball when you're like fielding grounders. It's hard to finish around the rim when it's like you're fielding grounders. And this is just this is this 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 has been a you know I think it's it's a, it's been the last whatever it's been five or six years where that's what guys do and they don't act like there's anything wrong with it. It's like, why don't you catch the ball? You know. Marlins guys would have a hard time, you know, fired at their ankles. It's hard. It's hard. You can't, you're not going to catch it. On a perimeter, you may knock it down, but you're not going to make a shot. You can't get a shot off. We, you know, all that being said, fellas, you know what? We have two seniors who didn't play very well today. That have been pretty good for us, but they haven't played and play very well today. And we're playing two freshmen. And we're playing seven new guys. And I, and I said this before. I I put a lot on Devin Williams, and and Devin's a sophomore. He's not a not a junior or senior. He's a sophomore. And these guys these guys are. I don't know, they we got a couple who have just been through it in high school. A couple guys in junior college. And it's different. It's a different. It's a different level. It's different. There's different pressures. There's different everything. Better players. You talked a lot about about offense today, and I understand that turnovers lead these easy baskets. But you've given up 60 percent, 55 percent shooting the last the last two games. It's got to worry you a little bit, doesn't it? 
point it worries me, Bob, because I don't think our effort is what it was. We, we, we put a piece of tape down in, in the midline, and, you know, early on, you didn't get to the midline, go get on a treadmill. Well, I can't run. I mean, if I did that, I'd run. If I ran them for throwing a bad pass, missing a layup, or not getting to the midline, I'd, I, it, it'd be like track practice. You know, you still got to try to win a game. We're not getting, we're not, we're not getting where we're supposed to get. We're not doing what we're supposed to do. Now we went back to we went back to playing five against four, you know, five offense, four defense. So you have to constantly make rotations. It's like it's like when I run out and guard you, it's like you're double team because there's there's still four guys that you can pass the ball to against three defenders. And we've gone back to then, and my, we I don't know how many times we don't make a rotation. You mentioned at some point in time, though, in all honesty, at some point in time, and this is what we were always really good at, at some point in time, I'll give you a great example. We're playing Virginia in the Sweet 16, and they, when we were pressing, and we were, we were the best pressing team in America then. And we, they were just, you know, they, we were having a hard time. So I called timeout. I said, can we guard them? And one guy said, you know, I got so-and-so. The other guy says, I got, I got Junior Burroughs. I got this thing. And then they, they named their own guys. We went out there. They don't score for like five minutes. But that's because they had so much pride. And we don't have that. But those are veteran guys, too. That was a senior-laden team. Those weren't freshmen and sophomores. And, and, and I think we can get there again. Are we there now? No. But it comes down to that, Bob. You know, guard your guy. I mean, I, I guarded I guarded the best guys on the other team all the time when I was here, and it wasn't because I was faster or, or quicker or jumped higher or anything else. I just had I had a lot of resolve that I wasn't going to let the guy score me. And you know what I figured out? The best way for him not to score was don't let him get the ball. He's probably going to score on me if he got the ball. They're pretty good. And it comes down to that. It comes down to how much resolve do you have sometimes. Why do some teams win, you know, a whole bunch of late games? Because they make stops when they have to make stops. They execute when they have to execute. Are we as disciplined as I want us to be? No. Should we be? I don't know. I mean, the bad part about playing as many guys as we play is you try to get all of them reps. So you don't get like six, seven of them reps, a, a, a bunch of reps. You know what I mean? You got you got all the bunch of guys getting reps. But it still comes down to I want to stop my man. You mentioned relying on Devin, leaning on him. 20, 20 points, fifteen rebounds, and talking to him afterwards, he didn't really have too many good things to say about his game tonight. Uh, your, your that's that's on, a good thing. Your take on what he did and and he didn't guard. He knows he didn't. I think I think he got frustrated. We I, I depend on Devin to do a lot of things. Devin's our best passer. He just can't throw it to himself. You know, we got to throw it to uh, one for seven, um, zero for two, zero for two, two three for, no two for three. Two for three. Those were those were transition though. Who's he gonna throw it to? Um, Anything else? You talk about resolve then. I mean, is is it good to see a guy like that after the game he had tonight to be able to say there's so much more he wants to see out of himself? You you know you could go through that locker room and ask all of them. Are you gonna? I mean, are you are you gonna really turn it up? Mary Wom's gonna say yeah. I said in there the other day, and Bob said, you know, describe leadership. And I said, leadership's doing. It's not talking about it. It's doing it. It's doing it day after day after day after day. That's, that's what Dev's got to do. That's what, that's what Deshaun did. That's what Joe Alexander did. That's what Kevin Jones did. Day after day after day after day. So why would people look up to them? Because they 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 didn't talk about it. They did it. 
you know, if Devin, if Devin, Devin could have, you know, a great career if Devin will do what those guys did, do it on a daily basis. It's not a, you know, it's 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 not doing it once in a while. Hell, anybody can do it once in a while.